Welcome back to the DevOps Library. We're glad you found yourself here. This is Samantha, and in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use the Jenkins API. Don't worry, the hardest part about using the API is just deciding what you'd like to build with it. Maybe you want to create a custom dashboard with the status of recently triggered jobs, or even have a totally separate application trigger a Jenkins build. Whatever you decide, it's completely up to you. But before we begin, we're really excited to announce we have now partnered with Hired.com, who will be sponsoring the remaining videos in our Jenkins course. In case you aren't familiar with Hired, it's a really cool company that actually reverses the traditional job search by having companies apply to you instead of you always doing the tedious work of applying. Thousands of companies are looking to Hired to help connect with the best of the best in our field, just like you. Be sure to listen at the end of this video for more information on how Hired works and how it could become your go-to tool for finding your next job. Oh, and if you do end up signing up through our own personal link and landing a new job too, Hired will give you a $2,000 bonus for being a loyal supporter of the DevOps library. Okay, are you ready to go? Let's go ahead and get started. First, let's begin by pulling up the API documentation on our Jenkins server. To do so, Open up a web browser and go to your Jenkins master URL, followed by slash API. As you can see, the REST API provides three different ways to interact with it. You can use XML, JSON, or even directly access Python objects. For this lesson, we'll focus on JSON, so go ahead and click the JSON-API link to see some of the data that Jenkins returns. If you look at the jobs array, you should see the class, name, URL, and color of each job, with blue listed for successful builds and red for failures. Pretty cool, isn't it? So far, we've been accessing the API directly through our browser, but typically you'll want to interact with it programmatically. Let's try accessing the API using curl. Open up a terminal and type curl Jenkins URL slash API. Uh-oh, if your Jenkins server requires authentication, and it should, you'll see a message saying Authentication Required. The Jenkins API uses HTTP Basic Authentication and requires a username as well as an API token to connect. To obtain the token, we need to pull up our personal config page. In your browser, type Jenkins URL slash me slash configure. Then click the box named Show API Token and copy the token to your clipboard. All right, we should be good to go now. Switch back to your terminal and type curl-u followed by your username, colon, then paste in the API token, followed by the URL to the JSON API we were trying to use the last time. Perfect, good job, there we go. Now that we've figured out how to authenticate, let's try to do something a little more advanced. What if, instead of returning everything, we only want to see the name and color of our jobs? First, let's start out with the last command that we ran. We do need to add a dash G this time to disable globbing. Next, at the end of the URL, we'll use what's called a tree query to filter what's returned. Add tree equals jobs bracket name comma color bracket to the end of our URL. This tells Jenkins that we only want to return the data for our jobs, and specifically only the name and color properties of the object. If you'd like to limit the number of jobs returned, you can always use braces for range specifiers. For example, a 2,5 within braces would only return the second through fifth elements in the jobs array, or a 3 within braces would only return the third element. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, for our last example, let's try to do something really fancy. We're going to download the config.xml from a job that's been failing, fix the configuration, then push the changes back to Jenkins, all using only the API. The Jenkins job that we need to fix is called failing job 01. First, let's download the config.xml file. Go ahead and run curl using our credentials, but this time type in the URL of our Jenkins server, followed by slash job slash failing job 01 slash config.xml dash o config.xml Quick exam tip, make sure you note down the path to download a job config.xml. It will always be your Jenkins URL slash job slash name of job slash config.xml. There's a good chance you'll see a question like that on the test. Alright, back to what we were doing. 
Open up the config.xml file that we just downloaded. Make any changes that you'd like. Then once you're finished, you have one final command to run. Type curl-x post-u username colon API token the Jenkins URL slash job slash failing job01 slash config.xml dash d at config.xml. Now refresh the page to see the changes we just made to our Jenkins job. Absolutely perfect! You now know how to authenticate, filter results, and even edit jobs all through the Jenkins API. Great job today! As always, thanks so much for watching, and a special thanks goes to Hired for sponsoring this course. If you're into DevOps, there's a pretty good chance you've had to deal with pushy recruiters and countless emails, as well as spent many hours on your own searching for good DevOps opportunities. The reason we love using Hired is because it completely reverses this situation, and it puts the power back in your hands by having companies send you interview requests that you can choose to pursue. They even come with upfront salary and equity. By having you fill out information that's specific to what you're looking for and what you feel your individual strengths and talents are, it ensures that the only companies you'll hear from will be a great fit for you. Plus, Hired is completely free for you, and they're even going to give you a $2,000 bonus after you land a job using the DevOps Library link. By the way, you're never on your own during your job search when using Hired. They provide an unbiased talent advocate to help you present your talents in the right way to the right employer. Okay, so if you're now wondering how to sign up, just head to Hired.com slash DevOps Library, type in your email, then hit Get Job Offers. On the next page, you're just going to fill in your name and a password, then you're ready to complete the talent profile. The whole process is extremely easy and very straightforward. We highly recommend giving them a shot. They really do a fantastic job, especially for our DevOps community. Thanks again for watching today, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.